Yo, yo, it's your boy, we fanned up 07. You not following the AFM, you probably gonna get hit by a truck coming up next month, man. Don't get me with your life, I'm out. Yo, you already know what it is. Hey, yo, what yeah. you saying? Wait up. They say I'm angry and shit. What? I say they hating and shit. You see me? There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there we go. What's up, Sean, though? You know What's you cracking? Man, what's the plan? What's going on with y'all, man? I heard y'all y'all uh, topic, man. It's an interesting one. Talking about money and battle rap. Uh-huh. That was a topic, right? So, yeah. like, this is the thing. Yeah. Like, unless Max said it, nobody will believe it. But I've been saying this shit for years. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying it for years. Like, the ROI don't match up. And if you don't know what ROI means, it means return on investment. Um, if you pay people more than what they're worth, eventually your business plan is going to fall apart because the money needs to come back. Um, and this isn't any business battle rap, uh, selling iPhones. It don't matter. This is just the way it is. Um, now some people are seeing this and they saying like battle rap is dead. That's not true. The, the business model by which mm. Caffeine built their battle rap platform is dead. But the way that we've been doing it mm. or the way it's meant to be done is not dead. Now, if you paying battlers for their allegiance to you based off how much money you give them, your business model is flawed and it's not going to survive. Simply because you got people who say like, oh, you know, I'm not going to get a job. I'm not going to promote. I'm just going to get these bands just to battle for nine minutes and then wonder why uh, battle rap is no longer profitable for the people paying. And this is coming from somebody who's like, I would say kind of like non-biased middle of the road, right? Because we get battle rappers. Yo, I'm not going to say no names, but you had a battle rapper that, that I hit up a while ago. And this dude ain't touched the stage in a long time. It was never really popping like that. And I was like, yo, like, I'm trying to get some uh, going. What you trying to do? Yo, this man said three G's, bro. Three G's. Mm -hmm. I never I never seen a, a, a battle with him that had 3,000 views on it. This man said three G's. I was like, wow. Maybe the game done change. This is what I'm thinking. Like, maybe the game done change. You know, maybe he is making that. But <laughs> so next one question. Next one question. So. What would you expect to give him? What price range for, for a black rapper who hasn't gotten higher than three K views that you've seen? Respectfully, I'd have gave dude probably like six hundred to like twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because let's be honest, like okay, okay. inflation, people like gotta that. take time away from their family. People gotta prepare for this. People gotta show up. Like I get it. Like you gotta make some money. I get it. But this swinger for the fences shit gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. if people knew the pillars that was holding battle rap up and what they look like and how much money was actually in this shit, niggas would be thinking totally different. Y'all remember when y'all remember when uh Mook had his uh his interview on uh DJ Vlad and he was on the couch and shit and he was talking about him battling Lux, um all this and that. And then at the end of the uh, interview, he was like, I need 50 bands to battle dude. The battle rap world went crazy. Mm. He called him a clown, all types of shit. Said he was wild. Because back then, 50K for a battle was wild. And now niggas yeah. is talking like they're getting that on average just to even pick up the phone. Wait, was it Mook or Lux? Because I remember that, I remember Lux was on and he wanted 40. No, that was that was that was Mook. I think I okay. like I believe, I believe Mook definitely said a number. Um, okay. but it was a wild number. And it was it wasn't even like considered. Everybody was just going crazy about it. From that day mm -hmm. forward, I feel like is when people started to feel like that they was worth more than what they put out. Now, a lot of these battle rappers like, like they're like, man, like we gotta have new material. We gotta do this. We gotta do that, and, and not and that, so we don't get paid enough. But it's like, bro, like you don't sell albums. If you sold albums, then we can track the numbers. I done had battle rappers fall out with me because I done told them, like, listen, I open up the books for you. Like, I'll show you what, what I made specifically on your battle, and I'll show you what you made on your battle, and we'll talk about who who got the upside on this. Like, let's be real, right? Let's be 100. You want to see the numbers? I'll show you the yeah. numbers. 
you're gonna be very disappointed and then you're gonna wonder why i'm in this shit you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like i like i like battles too i want to hear hot bars i want to hear new battlers i want to i want to see new things i want to be entertained by this um if i was a billionaire i'd still be watching battle rap but okay it's like 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 the business i like i have four different businesses under my name and all those businesses are profitable except for one mm-hmm. i'm gonna let you guess which one that is <laughs> and that's because yeah, yeah i have yeah. this i have this like hobbyist like like i love the game i love the characters i love everything that comes with it but it's just not profitable and if it was profitable mm-hmm. um diddy would have stuck around buster would have stuck around um uh they say mayweather is is coming in but his people are gonna tell him not to like this is a niche and i'm gonna tell you what actually kills it when pay-per-view does come out and people just bootleg it like yeah, yeah. that like you wonder why dj screw never blew up like that well that's because he was bootlegged more than he was bought anything that's bootlegged more than it's actually like enjoyed and bought and shared with the masses it's always going to stay niche, not because hip hop and is real, but because he cannot afford to be resuscitated to reach the mainstream. I would sit down with any battle rap league, anybody who claims to be okay. a genius in it, okay. and we can go back and forth 100% of the time, and I can explain to you why this shit is not making money. And just because Smack said it don't mean it's official. You know, I've been saying this shit for years. Maybe if you a fan and you ain't been watching my interviews, I don't do a lot of interviews, but if like if you go back i've been saying it for a long time i've been saying it for a long time and it's just been true for a long time but maybe you need to hear from smack in order to take it serious okay so question all right so you have a card you have a dope card coming up matter of fact promote your card first and foremost yeah man march 10th um the cage the cage is coming back it's called resurrection um man it's 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 just a wild thing, man. It's it's uh it's Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's gonna be on Rap Grid pay per view for the first time. Cartel is doing Rap Grid or or is doing pay per view. Uh, Bankhead versus Tay Rock, um, Heart versus uh, Coffee, um, Catboy versus Danny Myers, Cut versus Mac. Like like we got some we got some fire on there. There's not one battle on there that's a, that's like a cigarette break. Not a single one. Um, and I'm not just saying that as like as like the like league owner, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying that like truthfully, we don't want to put out no trash. We don't like mm-hmm. we promote, we go crazy, we tell people all the time our league will wash yours. We don't say that shit if we out here booking trash. You know what I'm saying? And and shout out to everybody who got a league who just start started to develop talent. But um cartel, man, we've been around for a minute and we've been uh asking for wreck the whole time um but yeah man that car mm. march 10th milwaukee wisconsin rap grid buy it on paper okay. you come out seeing in person huh i was what? gonna say bulb you versus bullpen you versus the trenches i mean man it's the thing man like like the trenches man they know what's up bullpen they know what's up bags and bodies they know what's up like ain't none of this ain't like come on bro you know where the bear traps at like like you know where to avoid it we've been talking this shit for years caps for years for years you can go back man i've been saying i've been putting money on my guys avoid. for years like he said avoid thank him we'll wash we'll wash whoever that guy is killer b cat boy 100k streets like we got we ain't got just a bunch of dudes who like like a hashtag we got 20 niggas that's close you know what i'm saying like we rap rap Mm-hmm. And 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 that's the difference. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I and respect to every, you know what I'm saying, hitman and his people, but man, them dudes, they're not, they ain't the same, man. They ain't the same. And 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 if you pay attention, if you look at this card, bags and bodies got two two battlers on here battling two cartel right. people. So you get to see how that go. Mm-hmm. And if hitman feel feel uh feel inspired by it he can also come through and watch his people get cooked um it is what it is man 
I don't judge battles on my card. Damn. Okay. But I tell you what, though, we've been talking this shit for a long time, Caps. You already know that. We've been talking this shit for a long time, like what we do and how long we've been doing it out here in the Midwest. Um, <laughs> damn near by ourselves. But that's yeah. why we brought the pay-per-view so people can come check it out. Okay. Now, what up, Snake Eyes? Okay, okay. Now, as far as the your question, as far as this card coming up, right? Do you see it being profitable? Do I see it being profitable? Um, you know, we make changes with every card that we drop, be it behind the scenes or out in the public. But before you put out a card or before that card happens officially, you don't know. You know, it's like I can tell you what I like, how I feel, what I want it to happen. I want it to be profitable for sure. But honestly, I like, I don't know. And the thing about battle rap is like, or the thing about business period is you can't run the business off of, I don't know. You just can't because if you do that, then eventually you're going to get, uh, you know, the alphabet boys on you as far as like where that money's going, where it's coming back. Why are you in this business? If it's not making money, why are you here? Like all this and that. They start asking questions, serious questions that ain't got nothing to do with battle rap. It's got everything to do with your your freedom, your financial background, and everything. Mm -hmm. And when the motherfuckers is on you, boy, they on you. They ain't pulling up straight up. So that's just the way it is. Like, like we bought the pay-per-view because every time we drop a card that we're super proud of, people ask, like, yo, is it pay-per-view though? And that's a good question. So we want to do this because we want everybody yeah. to see how cartel do it. We want everybody to come out and check it out and see how respectful our crowd is. See how, see how geeked our crowd is. See how, see how we go crazy for bars, see the cage. Um, we actually like, like this is the cage, bro. This is probably like one of our most popular, um, events because everybody liked the cage. The cage used to be like a, it used to be like a private invite only type situation. And then once it happened, everybody okay. was salty because they didn't get the invite. So, so like now we finally opening it up to the public, not only that, but beyond the public to pay per view. So that's just something that we plan on doing different. And I mean, I hope it makes this money back. If it breaks even, like shit, I'll give myself a high five. But <laughs> I don't know. It's impossible to know. John Jay, I'll ask you a quick question, real quick, John Jay. What responsibility oh, do you put on the battlers that you book to 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 help make the like? Do you encourage them to promote? Do you stipulate for them to promote? Do you think that you, that's something that's in your purview to even be telling them? Like, what 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 responsibilities do you have, or, or do you put on the battlers you book? As far as do you do you get uh, upset if the bigger names aren't promoting it? Like, like talk to me. Uh. Yeah, every contract says that a battler is to promote um, after the official flyer is dropped. Uh, promote it on your uh, social media, whatever that is. Uh, promote it to anybody around. Promote it, promote it, promote it. Because obviously, like, if you don't promote it, then people are not going to come see it, right? Um, we highly encourage everybody who's on the cartel mm -hmm. card to promote. Every yeah. single person. And there's not a person who we've booked who we didn't want to promote, not have we booked people who didn't promote. Yeah. Regretfully. And we never will again mm -hmm. because the shit is about money, man. At the end of the day, it's about bars on the other side of the coin. It's about money. And if a dude's not going to, or a female or whatever, if, if they don't promote, they don't want to battle. Simple as that. Yeah. Who's too cool to promote? A lot of like, people. Yeah, man, you got, you got, you got rappers promoting in all types of crazy ways. Like, you too cool to promote, and you a battle rapper. Like, you should be out here. I tell you, bro, if I was a battle rapper, I'd be dropping throwaway bars for every nigga on this card. There's no way you can tell me I'm not the nicest nigga, and you're not going to be close enough to hear me say it. Mm. It's just sometimes, like, like, I don't know what happens. And sometimes battlers be like, man, you know, this is happening, this is happening. All right, I get it. Life happens for sure. But... At the same time, bro, like, I got to remind these niggas I'm the nicest alive. Like, in the world that that, yeah. that I'm in, 
in my like tattoo life and shit, like, yo, I'm always popping shit. Always. Why? Because you niggas might forget. Like, that's why. You know what I'm saying? You put out new shit, you put out dope shit, you say dope shit, you put out a song, you put out a dish, you put whatever you end up doing. This is something with your thumbprint on it, and this is something you should be proud of. Whether you get paid for it or not, whether you the A side or not, whether you the low man on the card. And even if you look at the last two names on the cards, bro, they still fire, dude. T. Riley and Devos is fucking crazy. Wait till you see that battle. Wait till you see that battle. Like, they won that battle off of spaces. We did a spaces tournament. People say cartels not, not bringing up any new talent in the city and they don't fuck with it. Just da da da. So we did the, um, the spaces tournament. Um, and those two names won the tournament and they both fucking nice, dead nice. And I think I think okay. one of the main issues is, is 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 um not only people only believing it when Smack said, it, but only looking to Smack for talent. That's the problem. Only looking for talent. Okay. Yeah, that's a huge blind spot. That's a huge blind spot because talent is everywhere, and the game ain't over just when Smack says it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't ain't like I don't think smacking them ain't broke. Them niggas just realizing that money ain't coming back. And like, you see what time it is? Yeah. I see what time it is. It's tax time. Remember what I just mentioned? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They come to the money. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it come to all these events. It come to all this traveling, all this and that. Did like you gotta, man? You gotta you gotta answer for that shit. And if Alphabet Boys don't mm. agree with you, they're on your heels, man. They're on your heels. Like, it's, mm. it's the niggas in the streets. I'd rather have hunt me down than the motherfucking IRS, bro. Mm. Really? Where, where, those two, where those two, Um, you said there was the two tournament winners. Where, where exactly were they from? Uh, Devos is from Albuquerque. Um, and he rallies from New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, and, and uh, they nice man like i wouldn't even say that i like i wouldn't even mention the bottom of the car if it wasn't like that but that's just to prove that there are no like 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 weak uh bad mm -hmm. battles on here like shout out to uh coffee shout out to um e heart promoting like crazy going wild because they genuinely have an issue with each other and this genuinely needs to happen you know what I'm saying? We don't just book battles. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this might look cool. Like, no, we book it because like there's a history to it, there's a story behind it. Um, Coffee was on our platform a long yes. while ago before she. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I heard. I thought I heard somebody say something. But um, yeah. So, I it's that. history here. Um, but I think that if you if you see what everybody's doing, I thought it was gonna be fire. Everybody's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a crazy match, dude. Like E Heart is dead nice. Like Black Ice is a huge fan of E Heart. She's a big fan of coffee. She can't wait to sit here and like just see the battle happen, man. That was one of the ones that we always been trying to um put the ladies on the forefront because we believe in female battle rap. We got Tato, mm -hmm. that's our first lady of cartel. She dead nice, like she crazy, and she'll tell you. <laughs> you know, like she hopping in spaces and terrorizing whole groups and shit. Like we out here, man. And 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 on this battle rap shit, on this business shit, me and Cashman, we done had like private conversations and shit. And and we talked about the money that's in battle rap. And and we talked about how this like any problem in battle rap right now, I want the fans to know y'all can change it. It's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. Cause if people put out shit. And it's trash, and you support it anyway. That's what you're gonna keep getting. But if you're gonna put out a pay per view where niggas don't work hard for it, mm -hmm. and you just sell, it, you just bootlegging to your homies, you can't cry when Smack jump up and say this shit is 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 is, is uh not worth it money wise. You you can't be surprised at that. I'm not surprised. I woke up and saw that shit. I was like, okay, dude, finally done admitted it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know caffeine's uh involvement in battle rap anymore, but I mean I imagine that they kind of took a back seat now once they got through the numbers and start to see what was going on. 
Because the numbers ain't pretty, man. Like, unless you're doing this at a yeah, level that's just knows. like, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't speak on nobody else's business, but I can speak on the business we've been doing for 12 years. Uh, and, you know, like being in the Midwest is, is a difference. Sense. Huh? I said until y'all it didn't make sense for a long time. Is that why y'all no. took like a, a little hiatus or you slowed down? We we kind of um sat back a little bit because 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 we had more businesses to open, um okay. me and Ice. So like we just kind of like sit back and just doing our thing, trying to fortify our family, you know. Okay. Um, also like a lot of battlers, you know what I'm saying? They were just getting shit together, you know. And it was a it was an uncertain time because also you had like COVID in a in like a big city like New York, LA, and shit like that. It's different than COVID in like a place like Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying it's 600,000 people here. So mm. when you're trying to fly people here and, and do this and do that, it, it becomes a little harder. And, and so those airports open up and shit like that. Um, it costs us damn near double what it costs the average league to book somebody that's on the East Coast or the West Coast. Because, you know, like you got to fly right away to the Midwest and shit. That's why all the battles is happening in like Atlanta. Cause they just can't afford a fucking New York venue no more. And man, Atlanta venues are a little bit cheaper from what I hear. So I don't know, man. The business makes sense. It's just it's not nothing new to me. But those big ass paydays or that like but financial like, 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 warrant for a long time already. So you're not surprised. Right, right. Like I'm not surprised, man. Like, like huh. Warren financially with another league because like it's like I want to become the biggest league. Then I'm just going to empty my war chest and just pay everybody whatever they want just so they can think I'm the biggest league. But that don't get you nothing but bragging rights. Yeah. Bragging rights are, yeah. are, 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 you can't exchange that for cash. You can get a high five every now and then, but like you can't, like, you can't do shit with that. You can't feed your baby with that. This shit got to make sense. You see battle rappers coming back to cartel, like, often it's because we do good business okay, okay simple as that we do good business man um who do y'all who do y'all have for this car who are y'all picks i got coffee brown being e heart okay yeah that's the most excited matchup oh. i'm looking forward to um i got hold on let me you uh got coffee beat heart i do I think it's gonna be a, a, a big I think it's gonna be a great battle. I feel like E Hart come up short in big battles. I, I, I feel like that. I feel like she do everything. I don't think she's gonna be ass. I don't think she's gonna get 30. I think that I think Coffee the underdog in this battle, and I expect Coffee to win. Nah, so you disagree? Me, uh, let's start with that. Is uh, she the underdog? Do you agree or you think Ehart the underdog? Uh, coffee the underdog. I'm saying who is the underdog? Is she the underdog? I, I feel like E Hart. Oh, yeah. I think coffee. I feel like coffee is more um she hotter right now. I think E Hart gonna be E Hart. I like E Hart last showing. Um but I don't I don't I don't think she's gonna beat. I don't. I really don't think she's gonna beat Coffee. I don't think Coffee gonna come to play. I think Coffee gonna have a chip on her shoulder with everything that's going down with this year's Wody. I think she's gonna come to show niggas like y'all keep playing with me like I'm not like I'm not doing what I've been doing for the last couple of years, but specifically in 2023. Hey, e that too, battle, man. Coffee lady like 30. Oh man, <laughs> man, cut, man. Man, coffee been uh, I don't know if y'all seen when like coffee battle vixen years ago. Um, that was her first appearance on Black Ice, but man, coffee been working, man. Mm -hmm. She been working, work like I like I respect her grind for real. Like, as she, 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 she just out here doing her thing, man, and 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 I respect it because a lot, man. A lot of these things with female battle rappers too. A lot of them are are damn near like like as lazy as the dudes. You know what I'm saying? Coffee not one of them though. 
you talk to coffee coffee she mm-hmm. she ready for it and i respect that because i could probably count like eight females who who are like go getters like hungry like got the bars and everything whereas like it's a lot of a lot of females who, who just in the way they ain't trying to do shit. so when they say people not promote female battle rap mm-hmm. that's not true not at all yeah coffee been going crazy i ain't going front super crazy i just finally seen her battle versus jimmy in the uk and i was i was impressed like but i like this battle i, I really like this battle with e heart I, this that was what sold me on the on the car overall the overall car dope some of the names i don't recognize i'm not gonna lie but that was like i said oh yeah yeah that them top it was, it was and now that you're telling me that the undercar you tell me I'm, I'm gonna be looking out for the two tournament winners so yeah bro if you if you if you order this pay-per-view right and i ordered it already every battle and you call me the next day and say hey man that one battle was trash i'll send you 50 bucks well i'm gonna tell you like this i wouldn't do that so i ain't gonna stunt you um mm. but like i was saying i don't know how long you, you've been watching a lot but i was saying this earlier when we was talking about the state of battle rap mm-hmm. i was blaming the leagues i blame the battlers but i blame the fans we got to support what we what we enjoy so even if i and i know a lot of people are gonna tell you oh we don't we bootleg it because sometimes battlers come choking battlers don't do what they so i get it but that's like saying you don't support your uh nfl team when niggas be throwing like three interceptions like i don't like it i don't want to see niggas choking and not coming prepared but i, I you got to support what you can support it's only 25 dollars for the pay-per-view i'm not saying 25 dollars if, if a nigga fuck down down bad yeah i get it like you got 25 dollars to spend on your kids or whatever but if you a lot of niggas smoke or drink or do something go out if, if you if you like what you if you like battle rap and you don't want it to go away then you got to support what you can and, and and so i'm just saying that I, I i salute that you know i salute what you're saying that's honorable but no matter what i had already ordered mine and i'm, I'm already locked in because i wanted to see the battles and i like y'all ain't been around for a little hiatus like caps alluded to but you got i'm in a position now where like i'm more i'm very big on supporting supporting things that i enjoy or supporting things and i think people got to get into that mindset and i and i'm 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 from north new jersey i'm from the hood i know what it's like i i get it like i shit nigga i know that i know the mindset like yo where the link at where the blah 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 but at the end of the day if you don't support shit go away so when niggas be like oh black ice used to throw all the battles yo black ice was a dope lead what happened to, what happened to black no niggas you got to support you got to support that's how I, I go i respect that man and like that's 100 percent true you know, um, but it's like, I don't, man, I had a dude in like a group. I forget what the name of the group was. I'd be on Facebook. I'm trying to get everything over to Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this dude was like, man, how you going to blame the game? Niggas been bootlegging forever, like all this and that. And this is a, a month ago before we even was even, you know, doing you. I was more so like, bro, like, if you really fuck with these dudes on this particular car, why are you asking for, for, for links? Oh man, man, it's hard out here. Man, you don't know what it's like. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, but you got a whole phone in front of you. That's a computer. Like you ain't poor. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to pay whatever dollar amount it take, and you rather be scrambling on here, posting five or six posts, trying to get some some uh, bootleg links when you can spend that time just logging in and spending a little thirty five dollars. This is a fact. This is a Fendi. And and people got upset at the fact when uh Smack and Caffeine got together and Caffeine was looking for a broader audience. I said, Man, what about YouTube? What about the original fans? What about what about what about? Yeah, that's cool, but they don't pay. And when they do pay, they complain. Now, if you hold battlers accountable and you got a person choking every fucking car and they keep getting fucking booked stop fucking buying that person's pay-per-view mm-hmm. simple as that or you can just tag and they're gonna be like hey we want to see so and so or hey we want to see what's the name every time we drop a car at cartel somebody hop in our inbox they tag us they 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 get a hold of us somehow and be like i want to see this battle and we make it happen or we try our best to make it happen mm-hmm. the same thing with bankhead bankhead like if bank is not on the card, I get questions. If Killer B is not on the card, I get questions. Like everybody, like 
if you can reach me and I'm one of the most elusive motherfuckers in battle rap, bro, you can reach anybody. <laughs> and if you really want to see this shit, say who you want to see and, 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 and support that league or support that battle. Rap. It's as simple as that. Like, is 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 really not hard. It's not rocket science either. It's it's just so simple as as being like, I want to see more of this guy or this girl. Let me buy what they're selling, so I can continue to to uh, support whatever they're promoting. In which you said is one hundred percent facts, man. That's the mindset everybody needs to be in. But you got a lot of brand new battle rap fans every year. Um, I don't believe it's as many as like the base. But they don't know that, like, you should support this thing. If you get into a room full of niggas who've been there for six, seven years, they're like, oh, no, nah, cuz we don't buy shit. We just do bootlegs. You're going to start bootlegging too because you think that's the way it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like, we buy people pay per views even when we can't even see them. I do that out of support. I do that because, because like even even leagues or wh whoever that I don't really fuck with. Like I buy that pay per view, just off the rip, just just because. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I get it though. I don't want to act like I'm on this high and mighty horse, and I get that if niggas is fucked down, and I, I understand, I, I get the mindset, but we do got to get in the mindset that this is the culture that we like, and it can go like any culture can get tremendously downsized. I ain't gonna say it could go away, but it's a lot of. There's a lot of niche entertainments that have gone, you know, down. You know what I mean? And, and, and oh, you got a super chat, uh, Caps. I don't want to. They said we work because of money. Nah, I'm, I'm Sam. Like, do you agree with this? She said we want Geechee versus versus Hitman. It hasn't happened probably because of money. This convo is for the battle rappers, not the fans. I disagree with that, but I'll, I'll let I'll let John Jay answer. Um, Genshi versus Hit Man, you know, like when you consider somebody like Genshi, who done got it out the mud, in my opinion, um, one of the colors out here been proving it on different stages away and home. And you got Hit Man, who is just like a legend in this shit. You got two camps that have a very specific way that they want to do business. And sometimes that business does 